everyone, Soli here from Black Ops Toys. Coming at you today with another unboxing of this guy. This is a figure from Ujindao, or Joe, or something like that. And this is UD9007. So obviously you can see he's got a ton of gear and he is in a hostage crisis scenario. So let's go ahead and dig in and show you what's what. I have taken the liberty of untaping one side of this, but you can see the backdrop. That looks like an armored personnel carrier. So let's go ahead and show you what's inside the box. Lots of foam and you have a figure. Let's go ahead and take out both trays and lay them out. So Eugendao, I think that's how it's said, um, makes a lot of good stuff and they make stuff from a particular uh, time in history. And most of their stuff has been really, really good. I've been very impressed with it, to be honest with you. So this is the secondary tray and lots of goodies here. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of pull this guy out first and show you what's what. Figure itself, fantastic. So this is a tough body, um, very dense plastic, but I really like the body uh, on the, kind of like the Hot Toys True Type, but maybe a skinnier version. Uh, fantastic detail on the clothing. This guy's obviously angry because he has two fists. Er, get some. Let's go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff in here. Got a freaking great armored helmet. Again, if you're into that chicken game, um, that would be a great accessory for any action figure, especially like a juggernaut. But that's an armored helmet. They did a great job. This one is super detailed on the outside. Great paint app. Okay. And it does have a communication system built in. So that's kind of cool. Do you do you hmm? mean Players Underground? I do. Plays, okay. Players Unknown? Play players. Players un I don't play it. So I don't PUBG. Know. PUBG. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. This is the communications device. It's a standard small walkie-talkie. Again, this is going to go in a pouch, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like here, as long as it's in the pouch. Now, it does come with this communications cord, which does plug into the back of the helmet right there. Okay? Just like the real thing does come with some extra bits of goodness. Um, these are extra buttons, uh, and they're gonna go on the vest and stuff like that, and I'll show you in just a second. It does come with a freaking fantastic holster, and this is cloth. Um, this can fit any pistol. Um, this is elastic, so it can go around a bigger leg if you want to, but it does hold a single pistol magazine up front, and then a pistol back here. And it does have a hole in the bottom here so if you have a bigger pistol like a full size you can put it in there so you could use that for any kit bash you want to and then he does come with a little tiny pistol and it looks like a helmet insert so if you pull the helmet and you try to put it on like that it's not going to do very well so it does come with an insert and this is just like the real thing you can see the inside it does have some leather ear flaps and it does have a chin strap with a little chin holder so that would slip in there. Makes it much more comfortable when you put that on your little head. All right, no funny jokes. So let's go over the figure. Um, if you know what kind of camouflage this is, please leave that in the comments below. I can tell you that this would make a great, this has great kit, kit bash potential in my opinion. The boots are awesome. They are metal uh, rivets and then they are pleather on the outside and they have a, a rubber sole, but they are foot type, so you can actually take these off and put them on. And they do come with laces, so if you don't know how to tie your shoe, this might not be the figure for you. Pants are awesome. Pockets are all functional. Again, you can put lots of stuff in here to hide from your wife if you want to. But again, if you know what type of camouflage that is, leave that in the comments below. I'd like to know the name because I don't know it off the top of my head. And then this right here is a fleece jacket, which is awesome. So I love the fact that it actually has camo on the elbow pads and up here. So soup's cool. If you know who that looks, lo looks like, <laughs> I don't know who that looks like, but if you do, then leave that in the comments below also. But fantastic figure, he will stand on his own without a stand. So that's kind of neat. Now let's get into the good stuff, okay? This is the second tray. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop some stuff down here. Pull all this out, all the goodness out. Look at a nice rifle. Oh, 
All right. Oh, that is the second tray cleared. Now we have gloved hands. He has strong fists and he has gloved hands. So these right here, left or right shooter. Okay. And this right here is a left-handed holder. So my guess is, is that he's right-handed. And they are fingerless. So fingerless gloves are pretty cool. I like them and they are semi-pliable. What I would do um, if I was putting together this figure is I would take an X-Acto knife or a razor blade or a really sharp stick and I would cut between the fingers and that will allow more flexibility to put around the weapon grip. So next we have a little multi-purpose pouch. This would fit on a belt and we do have a leather belt. So that would go on his trousers. It looks like a snake. It goes on his trousers. So this right here would just slip right through that and that would go on his side, okay? Then we have a, another multi-purpose bag. This right here looks like a gas mask pouch. So this would go around the leg and then he would hold the strap up there. Again, you can put anything in it you want to, like bread or dirty magazines or whatnot, but that would go like that and then this would wrap around his leg. So. Nice bag, almost like an Indiana Jones bag, but not quite. Next, we have a, what looks like a towel. So every man, <laughs> this is a man pawn. <laughs> if you don't know what a man pawn is, I don't, I'm not, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so this right here is a balaclava. Again, I don't know how to spell that, but it, I do know how to say it. Not like the dessert, but that right there would go over his head and then his head would go inside the helmet. If you'd like finger puppets, you can use this and then you could draw your own face in there. That would be super cool. And then you could have five of them and have five different faces with finger puppets. Anyway, moving right along, we have a armor vest, okay? And this is just like the real thing. It does have a hook and loop and it does have an armored collar. So that's super cool. And then it looks like you could put a plate in here. You can see that you can't open that up from the side. And you could put an armor plate in there or some change like I've talked about in past videos. All right, and it does have bungee on the back. So that would slide over the head. What I would do is pop the head off, throw that on, and then it just wraps around like that. So super easy, super detailed. This looks like a woodland camo to me. A little bit different than that but very cool vest. And then you have a chest rig. This is awesome. So you can see these little bits in here, right? And these are extras for the buttons, just in case. These buttons are glued on. So you also have them on the pistol holster and various and sundry things. But this is a really nice chest rig. If you're gonna make a division bash or some kind of post-apocalyptic bash, um, you could definitely use this because uh, you can actually buy these in the U.S. at, say, like an army surplus store or whatnot. Now you have some flare pouches. So that's what this is. It's not a huge cigarette, and it's not a bingo marker. This is a flare, and this is red, and this could go inside here. And if you don't have enough flares, which this only comes with one, and say you want two, you could buy the extras from the website. So these right here could be multi-purpose or grenade pouches, could be a radio pouch, and then these right here are obviously your mag pouches, okay? Now this guy is a sniper, and this is a sniper rifle, okay? And this goes on there like that. That's for your eye. So when you shoot this thing, you don't actually smack your eyeball with the scope, okay? That's like a little rubber, rubber mount. It does come with a sling. This is a single point attachment, so that's pretty cool. But this is a short, integrally suppressed. If you can spell integrally, go right ahead. But that right there is a suppressed barrel, okay? And the magazine does come out. You can see the bullets painted in there. And this just makes a dope little rifle, especially if you're doing like a female kit bash or whatnot. This right here does move, which is cool. They actually did that good. And then you can, I believe, want to be careful, but you can cock this and it is spring loaded. So, boom. People oftentimes will grab this and then they'll just wrench on it. And if you do that, you're going to break it. And then you're going to be like, oh, it came broken. And I'm going to say, no, it didn't. And anyway, it does move. You can't see the rounds in there. Okay. And the front side does go up. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, 
If you know what kind of sniper rifle that is, leave that in the comments below. Um, it's a three letter acronym. And all in all, this is a fantastic figure for what it is. Super like simple kit, uh, comes with some really nice pieces and totally recommend picking it up. Chicks who dig it. So if you like this video and you wanna see more incredible items like these guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new and extremely visible content like this.